What's up, everyone? Welcome to the NBA Pick and Pod. My name is Dawson Shine, and I'm your host today. So today we're going to be doing just a little bit spotlight on a great player who recently died, Nate Thurmond, Golden State Warriors, great legend from way back when, died at 74 yesterday. He had a short battle with leukemia and was unable to overcome the cancer. Sadly, he fell to it. And we have to mourn the loss of an amazing, amazing center who played for both Golden State and Cleveland Cavaliers. Interestingly enough, he died not even a month after Golden State Warriors lost in the finals to the Cleveland Cavaliers in seven games. And both of those franchises actually retired his number 42 because he was originally born in Akron, Ohio, so the Cleveland Cavaliers respected him greatly, especially when he came back to them and helped lead them to a miracle, miracle trip to the Eastern Conference Finals late in his career. But I kind of want to give a little bit of spotlight today and just talk about his career as a whole, why he needs to be remembered, and why it's kind of sad that even some Golden State Warriors fans nowadays, and most NBA fans in general, didn't know who he was until yesterday. Nate Thurmond was a fantastic defensive center and a tenacious rebounder. Tenacious. Both sides of the court. He first got drafted back in the 1963 draft, number third overall pick, after playing three seasons at Bowling Green, averaging 17.8 points, 17 rebounds. That's pretty incredible numbers for anyone. And for him, those are just averages. He put up better numbers than that all the time. And he did it even against NBA competition during his career. So he was drafted by the Warriors in the 1963 draft and apprenticed under Hall of Fame center Wilt Chamberlain, who, as we all know, was one of the greatest players in NBA history. One of the greatest centers, if not the greatest, depending on who you ask, of all time. He obviously has all those amazing stats, points per game, rebounds per game, rebounds in the season. And he actually learned from him, Nate Thurman did. Thurman was able to, at least for two seasons, learn the intricacies of being a great defensive and offensive center in the league under a Hall of Famer. Then when the Warriors traded Chamberlain to the 76ers back in the 64-65 season, Thurman went on to average 15 and 15 for the rest of his career, 15 points, 15 rebounds. But those numbers don't really do him justice. Between 1966 and 1970, when he was playing for the Warriors, he actually averaged 20.8 points per game and 20.3 rebounds. Now, he averaged a 20-20. These days, if someone like Andre Drummond or Kevin Love or Dwight Howard, LaMarcus Aldridge, one of those kind of players, puts up a 20-20 game, DeMarcus Cousins even, excuse me, for forgetting him. But if one of those players puts up a 20-20 in one game, we look around amazed and in awe because 20 points and 20 rebounds is incredible, especially in today's game with the lesser amount of possession and the slower pace compared to back then. But he did that on average. That means he basically had a 20-20 every single game. That's ridiculous. And that shows his impact on the defensive end with the rebounding and also scoring, being able to at least contribute to the offense. 20 points per game is no joke. That's not a joke at all. He could score. He wasn't going to be some flashy center who's going to score 50 points per game like, you know, Hall of Famer Will Chamberlain, but he was going to be an amazing player who was a fantastic defensive and okay to great offensive player. Plus, I know I keep saying it, but I can't, I cannot stress enough his defensive ability. If you watch any of his old highlights, which I think just to honor his legacy, everyone should, you'll see him defending players like Kareem blocking the famous skyhook shot, then going the other way for a dunk, or going up against Wilt Chamberlain and holding his ground. Nate Thurman was built, straight up monster. That dude was like a tank on the court. And he played like that every which way. Doesn't matter what side of the court he was on, he played like a tank. Wilt Chamberlain even said, back when he was still alive, that Nate Thurman was one of the toughest, if not the toughest defenders in the league for him. Because he just could not overpower him. That's how strong Nate Thurman was at 6'11". 
Wilt Chamberlain couldn't overpower him. That's crazy to think about. And it led this strength and this ability to just be able to learn and rebound and play led for him to have 11 out of 14 seasons played with the Warriors and lead them with most minutes and most career rebounds still to this day. And then when he was traded to the Chicago Bulls by the Warriors later on in his career, he had the first official quadruple double in an NBA history. Do you guys know what a quadruple double is? That means he had 10 or more in four counting stats. In his case, 22 points, 14 rebounds, 13 assists, and 12 blocked shots. He's one of only four players also to grab more than 40 rebounds in a game, his career high being 40 freaking two. That's ridiculous, 42 rebounds in a game. There's barely that many to go around for one team nowadays. But obviously the quadruple double stats a little biased considering they didn't count block shots before the 72 season. But he still did it afterwards late in his years when he was already almost out of his prime and basically at the end of his career. And then after being a Chicago Bull for a grand total of 13 games, he was traded to his hometown Cavaliers where he closed out his career in the right way. He was able to actually play a key role in the Cavaliers' best season before LeBron James. Now, that may sound like a bull overstatement, but it really wasn't. They beat the Washington Bullets in seven games, going to the Eastern Conference Finals in 1976, where they then lost to the stacked Boston Celtics in six games. But you could tell from on the court play, Thurman's leadership and defensive prowess basically made him an even bigger local legend than he already was. I mean, this boy was born and raised in Akron, Ohio, and he was able to make it to the NBA, make it out of poverty. And on top of that, he came home and gave them their most successful postseason in their entire franchise history. After only a season and a half with the Cavaliers, they retired his number when he was, he was finished playing and he hung up his shoes. Cavaliers retired his number, 42, after only a season and a half of play and it was their first retired number ever. Also, the Golden State Warriors retired his number 42, and man, did he deserve it. Seven-time All-Star, just an amazing player on the defensive end and offensive end, rebounding, block shots, and just being so strong and tenacious. So many players admire what he did on the court. Jerry West saying that he was, without a doubt, one of the fiercest competitors that I've played against during my entire career played like a man among boys on most nights, especially on the defensive end. That's a direct quote from Jerry West, who is also another Hall of Famer. I mean, all these people have talked about how great he was. And recently, he's also been the community relations role for the Golden State Warriors, and was able to be a broadcast analyst slash community liaison until he really got sick this past year and was unable to perform his duties at the job. He was able to actually stay in basketball, which is incredible, up until the age of 74. And man, did he earn the right to do that. And it's pretty sad to see him go, but it's always good to honor a great NBA player that not enough people talk about and not enough people know about. So I hope you guys learned a little something about Nate Thurman, and maybe we'll go watch some you know, highlight videos about him just to see what he was actually like, because this man deserves a little bit of respect being one of the top 10 all-time for centers, in my opinion. So if you, have any, if you have anything else to add, you want to leave a comment, feel free to do so. If you like this little spotlight on the passing of Nate Thurman, leave a like, subscribe for future videos, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for listening.